All right, here's another update on the Lotus Esprit S4 Resurrection Project. And this time we're at True Performance Auto Body Shop. The car's brought in and to be honest, the reason this has been such a long truncated process is that originally I thought this was gonna be a sort of a light resto. No, this is turning into a full, as you can see, frame off, full restoration. I mean, we're, we're rebuilding the car from the ground up. A lot of what needs to happen to the body of the car is for true performance to sort of painstakingly get this thing back to health. As you'll see in this video, it was not as healthy as I'd hoped. On the good side of things, the paint was original. But as you can see here, the paintwork on the car was very weathered. In order to get this looking right, in other words, when you look down the side of the car for it to look like a nice car, there's a lot of high build primer. They have to build up that surface to make it truly beautiful. It's a very painstaking process and one that has taken quite literally months. This is Bear. Bear's been a good friend for years. I've actually known Bear since he was 12. I had an office in a building close to where his school was. I was into cars, he was into cars. He would stop by on his lunch break and talk to uh, me and one of my friends uh, about cars. Right off the bat, he's, he's always been into cars and he's become what is truly one of the finest paint guys that I know. And what you see him doing here is laying down a layer of primer that uh, can then be sanded so they can just get a, a flat surface to to work with and that's what he's doing here and this video is going to be a lot of bear painting the car a guy named josh doing body work on the car and another gent named will doing some fine finishing bits i'm gonna leave the end of this video pretty much uh, uh like sort of a zen watch this car get painted type of situation because i really enjoyed that True Performance is the body shop I selected for a couple reasons. Uh, one, I've worked with them before. They've done work with me on a number of vehicles and it's always been fantastic. They have guys with know-how. This is Josh. Josh has literally decades of body work with, uh, working with composites, carbon fiber, fiberglass, aluminum, steel, you name it, he's done it. And he is a fantastic body work man. And what you see here is him just, you know, basically getting the car flat, getting the surface prepared for paint. And like I said, the car had sat out uh, for a long time. Because the car is a composite car, I think that's the, that was a good thing in a lot of ways. In, in a lot of other ways, it was not good. Uh, the the bodywork, you, you can think of a Lotus Esprit and cars like it somewhat like a boat. And so the ravages of the Florida sun really hit the bodywork pretty heavily. And so to get it back where it needs to be, Josh is spending hours basically sanding through the black paintwork on the car to get to uh, a surface that is workable. Once Josh is done stripping the car and then Bear puts down a layer of primer, it then goes to Will for some fine finishing work. And what Will is doing is basically taking off little nibs, making sure edges and round corners are smooth uh, for then another layer of primer, a final layer of primer uh, that Bear will lay down prior to the paintwork going on the car. And you know, when you think about what does it cost to paint a car? People come to me and they say, how much should I spend to paint my car? I mean, it really depends on what condition the car is in. But when you watch this video and when you see what is what it takes just to, just to refinish this car, you know, areas that are down to bare fiberglass, areas that are then repashed with new fiberglass and, and high build products, bridging the gaps where they exist. This is a lot of work. This project is truly a labor of love. And what Bear's doing here is he's selecting the ingredients, basically, that need to go into the high build primer on the car. And he's mixing up the next batch of product that's gonna be put on the car. I can't say how thankful I am for 
companies like True Performance and PPG who are willing to be uh, available and take part in this. Because when you go uh, to like an auction, a classic car auction, and you see a car come across the block and it says restored, you always hear crazy numbers thrown out. Like this was a $200,000 restoration. And you think how in the world could they have spent $200,000? It is shocking what goes into, as you're seeing, just the paintwork, every nut and bolt on this car, it's just, it just all costs money. It all takes time and it just gets expensive. What Bear's doing here is wiping down the car before he puts on the next layer of high build primer. He's basically making sure that the car is free of contaminants uh, and ready to go. You can see here where we filled in the rear antenna mast area. Uh, you can also see some areas where it's down to uh, the glass fiber, the fiberglass. Uh, in some areas that it's been uh, that it's been patched making sure that the car is contaminant free is an important step and and one that just in and of itself takes uh, about 45 minutes to, to fully wipe the car down Yeah, watching this, hopefully for you, because it is for me, is strangely mesmerizing. I honestly thought about doing a cut of this where it's, you know, 45 minutes and you fall asleep watching Bear paint this car because honestly, it is that good. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But, you know, having owned Esprit's all my life and having, you know, loved these cars and sort of not understood why people didn't connect with them this is the kind of content that i would have wanted to see you know to see uh, uh an esprit reduced to its most naked form and what a beautiful form it is even looking at 
things like the gas filler cap or you know the duct work at the bottom or, or just the way the car manages air they're such underrated and fantastic cars as someone who has loved these cars all my life i've said before you know sort of that if i could have any car it would be an f40 or an xj220 but short of that uh, an esprit and in particular an s4 s4s sport 300 those cars you know are just dream cars to me and so to be able to do this with this car is really enjoyable. I mean, I really am trying to as much as I can enjoy this process. It is a little stressful because now that the bodywork is becoming beautiful, like will it ever be whole again? I mean, believe me, that's a legitimate question I have. Uh, Austin from Lucor was over today and we talked briefly and it, you know, it's, it's a scary process. And I don't know, you know, check in with me again at the end of this process. Will I ever do this again? I don't know. But in the meantime, you know, let's watch this car get prepped for its final coat of paint. Hopefully ever. Hopefully that it ever wears.
Mesmerizing indeed. And so as the primer stage comes to a close, we get to the paint color. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen some hints and some pictures of finished pieces, but what is the paint color? The car came from the factory as black and I've elected to keep it black with a twist. Uh, as many of you know, this is a resurrection project. I am in effect resurrecting my JPS liveried car. Uh, but more than that, I am, I'm taking it a step further. I'm, I'm, I'm doing a new thing. And with that, I've selected uh, Amethyst Black. It's a PPG color, you'll be familiar with it from the McLaren P1 and some other McLarens finished in this hue uh, of black. Uh, basically, uh, in normal light, it looks deep, deep black. You can tell there's a metallic there, but under direct focal light, it is a vibrant purple. So I'm excited to see how it comes out. Bear is mixing it as we speak. And at the end of this video, you're gonna see the color. The next video, you'll see the paint go on the car. Thanks for watching. I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to the channel. And if you love Lotus Esprits, share my Lotus Esprit videos with other Lotus Esprit fans. It all helps. Sexy right there. Oh.